Good morning. Hi, morning. Sorry, I was in mute. Good morning, Miss Orlando Verde. How are you? Hi, morning. Morning. How are you? How are you Good. doing? Good. Everything fine? Okay. Yeah, I'm well. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, okay, okay. Nice, nice. Thank you. ¿Qué tal, Miss Orlando Verde? ¿Cómo está su semana? How is your week going? Uh, bien, estuvo bien. Good. Yeah. Everything fine. All right. Great. Great to hear that. Okay. Um. So, what about like Black Friday thingy? <laughs> Salud el día oh. de ayer. Did, did you like go yesterday? Uh, cerca de algún centro comercial. How was no. traffic? Not really. Pero si trabajó el día uh, de ayer. Sí, uh, I worked last night, but oh, I always come out uh, night, oh. like seven, you know. Oh, so you get to your house really late. Yep. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Well. But but the good point is that you don't find traffic, right? So I think that is important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, Mr. Landa Verde, thank you so much for completing. Um, you need well all the platform. I was checking, and I think that you're like super complete. You completed everything, all the exercises. So thank you so much for that. I think it's really, really nice. Did you have difficulties? Do you have any difficulties? Did you have difficulties uh, with the exercises? I have a couple issues for a uh, couple homeworks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like uh, when you try to hear something and you can explain why you're here. But uh, the thing is, when you explain it, it's not like... Uh, you have to uh, write it, like, and uh, you know the answers, yeah. Oh. Like okay. uh, one example, if you hear a bird, mm -hmm. so the question is, why you hear like uh -huh. this? And, like, what is uh, going on? Uh -huh. Yeah, and oh, I hear a, a bird beeping, something like that, right? Yeah. Yeah, but that's the difficult. Ah, okay. Okay, I see, I see. But uh, the, the difficult part is like to try to un to try to explain. Explain, yeah, because you explain different, I explain different, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And, uh, hey, but, but Mr. Landaverde, you communicate very well. So, uh-huh. You studied English before, right? <laughs> so yeah. this is not the first time. That's not the first time. Okay, where do you study English? Uh, in my college. Mm -hmm. Here, studied como dos años. Oh, okay, okay. Mm, but, but only uh, English. Like, yeah, but like, no, give me a good result test. Why? Because and the Why? practice is different, and the practice is different. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, so, the only help I have is I went to USA to live there oh. about eighteen years. Eighteen years uh -huh. I lived there. No, that explains uh -huh. a lot. <laughs> so you were in USA. Yeah. For eighteen years, you said. Yeah. 18 years. Wow. Like 10, 18 years. Wow, mm -hmm. that is a lot of time. Okay. And, yeah. and, and how was it there? Ah, I like it. I want to come back <laughs> soon. All right. Okay. So where were you? Uh, I was on Boston, Massachusetts. Oh, okay. 
Nice, 18 years. So that must have been like a really long of, story. Of my life. Uh -huh, exactly. That, that's what I thought. <laughs> okay, wow, but nice. That's uh, when I leave my country, El Salvador, uh -huh. I have uh, 14 years old. 14. Oh, so yeah. you left the country very young, at a very young age. Well, uh -huh. Right? Wow. Okay. 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 I left in uh, about in the nineties. You left in okay. So you you uh, left the country, then yeah, you... but I move I move on Guatemala. Okay. And I spend I spend ten years there. Okay. Wow. And then come back to El Salvador. From El Salvador, I left to USA. Oh, okay. So, but, but where are you from? Are you from Guatemala or are you Salvadorian? No, I'm from Salvador. Oh, all right, all right. I left the country, you know, because then the night is, is the warm, yeah, the right. warm. Uh -huh. yeah. And you were very young, so you didn't want to be part of the, part of the, of the, whatever question. You didn't want to be, belong, right, to the army in El Salvador, I imagine. Uh-huh. Okay, that's why I was like, wait, but he communicates very nicely. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no, so this was a piece of cake for you, like the platform and everything. That was really easy for you. Yeah, but uh, I want to start the beginning, but uh, <laughs> in this class, it's not the beginning. No. They well, are a little more higher, you know, like a people, they want to subscribe in this class they barely know something english you mm. know it's not for the people they don't even know nothing it is not this actually, class actually yeah. it is not common uh, because i think that in a way everybody has been um introduced to english in a way right uh, we watch yeah. movies so we go to a supermarket and we find a lot of things in english music is in english um so i think that it's not common for a person uh, to be zero like to know uh, nothing uh-huh so we know something even numbers letters we know something but uh, i mean i'm super impressed with the group because i found like a lot of people who speak english you know like you so i'm like wow that's really cool <laughs> okay so, so what, what is the plan in the future, Mr. Planta Verde? Oh, I try to get another work, like I said before, mm -hmm. like uh, work and call center, you mm -hmm. know. Well, so what, like have you ever applied? No. Have, have you ever gone to, okay. okay. No. So you have never had like an interview, just to, just to check no. your English, just to. No, never, uh, never. Okay, okay. But, some people like my family, they tell me trying mm -hmm. to find a job like that. Mm -hmm. but I don't I, know. I think um, jobs like in a call center are, are fine. The schedule sometimes is good and they have a lot of benefits. So, and you have opportunities mm -hmm. to grow, I think. Uh, do you like technology? Hi, Carlos, good morning. Great to see you. Yes, I like it. I like the technology. It's my my sick mind. Your technology. sick mind. <laughs> okay, computers. Yeah. Are you good with computers? Yeah, I like computers, cell phones, TVs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. So you must be really like knowledgeable. Um so but yeah, what why don't you? Why don't you just, I mean, you can go to the interview, right? And just to check your English, just to check, mm -hmm. right? What they tell you, um, For they will tell you like, okay, so you're good, right? Or they can tell you something like, uh, you need to work on your grammar, you need to work on your vocabulary. So you know exactly what areas yes. you want to give it a try mm -hmm. or what areas you need to work on. But I think that would be a very good exercise. Yeah, uh, the 
thing is uh, when you try to people uh, speak to the people, you gotta use uh, well words, you know, no strong words. What do you mean? Because, because uh, uh, I learn almost English and streets outside. No, you know? But I don't see, I don't see but, the problem with your English. Yeah, but uh, the thing is when you try to uh, say sorry to so somebody, mm -hmm. sometimes you need to say apologies or something like that, you know? Mm, or, not necessarily. I mean, oh, what do you mean? I mean, I yeah. think that you can apologize, right? Sí, cuando habla uno con la gente. Keep it English. Keep it no, English. No use strong words. No use strong words. You know, like a uh, fuck. Uh, I mean, ah, you, know, you mean abusive, no like abusive language. Yeah. Do you say them? Sometimes, yeah, every, every but, but, time. Oh, okay. But, but I think it's just a matter of like a tradition, right? Like customary. But if you yeah. practice, uh, if you practice and in your mind, you, t you tell yourself, I will not say bad words. I will not say abusive language. <laughs> I will not say the F word. So I think you're good. Because, for example, um, one of the words that you can substitute the F with would be pumpkin, right? Uh, that is very common. We try to, instead of F, we say pumpkin. We say something different. And we reduce the, the bad language. But I don't see the problem there. Everybody says that. <laughs> Everybody yeah. says bad words. Uh -huh. But I think you can give it a try. We can talk about that later. But I think you can give it a try. So just oh. to check, right, your English. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. That can be your, yeah. your objective, right, for 2022 uh -huh, to, yeah. to get another job. Carlos, how are you? How was your week? We were talking here with Mr. Landa Verde about the new uh, or the 2022 resolutions, goals to get another job, <laughs> okay, uh, to improve English. What about you, Carlos? How are you? Um, yes. Sleepy. <laughs> a little sleepy? Are you a little sleepy? Uh, no, no, no. No, not anymore. Yeah. Okay, how was your week? ¿Cómo estuvo su semana? How was your week? Um, so, 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 un poco de todo prácticamente. Why? Um, porque sé a veces salimos demasiado tarde, un montón de cosas. Okay, okay, okay. So, what about yesterday? Did you work yesterday? Trabajo? Did you work? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. What time yeah. did you finish? ¿A qué hora sale? What time did you finish? Ayer salimos temprano, salimos como a las seis y algo, seis y media por eso. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's early. And what, what do you mean late? ¿Qué es lo más tarde? What is like the latest? Yeah, esa es la una de la mañana. Yeah, so that's pretty late. Okay, that's pretty late. All right. Well, but yeah, eh, Carlos, ¿cuál es el objetivo? What is your objective? Creo que hemos estado, a, a, like, on class number one, we talked about it, but um, so with Mr. Landa Verde here, we're talking about getting a job. <laughs> what about you? What is the objective? ¿Cuál es el objetivo, Carlos? Uh -huh. Mi objetivo, o sea, es como aprenderlo, o sea. Mm -hmm. Aprender el idioma porque no, bueno, más que todo en algún futuro puede abrir algunas, algunas muchas otras oportunidades como laborales. Oh, ok, so ya, ya pensó en qué tipo de oportunidades quiere, do you think about it? Eh, lo más común es un call center. Ok, and as Mr. Landa Verde, ¿alguna vez intentó? Did you ever apply? ¿Alguna vez aplicó there? No. No. 
Never. 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 Okay. And, and you, Carlos, did you ever apply? ¿Alguna vez aplicó? Uh, no. No, yeah. No, no, okay. no, no. Okay. So I, I think that this is like a very good opportunity, right? So you can uh, use your English to get definitely a better job, right? So I, I think that's pretty fine. I think it's really good. And I'm, I'm missing the rest of I'm missing the rest of the guys. Guys, is it windy in your house? Here it's super, super windy. Yes, Sorry it about is. it. Mm -hmm. It's kind of cold, windy, and everything. What, what town you do you do you live? I live in La Libertad. So yeah, it's pretty windy. There is like a lot of wind. And and the 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 temperature is a little bit down, so yeah, it's not like a like a good thing, right? Um, like uh, I live in Santa Tecla. Ah, but Santa Tecla is cold. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, right. Uh huh. So I think it's cool. Yes, for sure. Okay, okay. So, guys, uh, today we are going to be checking a little bit about the weather, actually. <laughs> so, we are going to be checking just the weather. We are going to be checking present continuous. Mr. Landauer said um, in the platform, like the exercises, you listen to a sound. Pero se puede interpretar de formas diferentes, right? So we can yeah. definitely um, be like, what is that? Maybe for me means something. Maybe for you means something else. But we are going to check this. And also, vamos a revisar un poquito de free time activities. So let's stay here. And uh, let's try to finish up today with the best practice we can. Terminamos de hecho el módulo número uno el día de ahora. We are going to be finishing module number one today. And uh, so creo que Carlos estamos súper bien con la platform. Mr. Landa Verde también. Así que solamente es de como practicar un poquito, agarrar el vocabulario, right? And go with it. So guys, uh, to get us started, I have a question for you. And that is, what is your favorite season? Do you have a favorite season? Oh, yes, I have it. What is your favorite season? We summer. have winter, uh -huh, summer, spring, autumn. In El Salvador, spring is not very common for us. We don't have a spring and we don't have autumn. In El Salvador, we have winter and summer, but winter, not this winter. <laughs> So we don't have a snow, right? Uh, so Mr. Lando like, Verde, summer, you like said. A, oh, oh, like a autumn, what did you say, uh, like now, is the, for the uh, the wind? Yes, it, it's yeah. kind of autumn, but not completely, not completely. Because in autumn, like the trees change color. In El Salvador, yeah, do they change color? Yeah, change color because it's the, that kind of tree, you know what I mean? But no, yeah, right. they, because they, there they is no water. Color. Uh huh. They I mean, it color. doesn't change color like other countries, but a little, yeah, just the, a little. The difference is the, and that autumn is um, the all kind of trees, they, uh, they take off the leaves, you know, they yes. fall the leaves. Exactly. Yeah. So the, the oh leaves my. fall down. Uh -huh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. But that would I be see it. now, now is my first time in this country and I see a couple trees, they fall the trees, the leaves. Are you serious? This is your first mm -hmm. time, the first year in the country? Yeah, as my first time. Yeah, it's my first uh, getting my uh, Christmas. <laughs> Oh, now kidding. Yes. You're serious. Okay. Yeah, I'm serious. Wow. Okay. So, okay. That, that's really interesting. <laughs> so, okay. I think that you will get to see the, the Christmas then. Okay. Probably you will find it different. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. It, right now it's 
uh, I wouldn't say autumn completely. It's more like summer, autumn, like a combination of both or and winter is not exactly winter, but it's like winter and spring in El Salvador because we have a tropical weather, right? Hi, a very good morning. How are you? How are you doing? I guess he is on his way to his work. Okay. Morning ever. I don't know if you can hear me, if you can listen to me. I cannot listen to you. <laughs> you are mute. Mm -hmm. I think he's trying to, to turn on his audio. Okay, Carlos, what about you? What's your favorite season? Do you have a favorite one? My favorite season is summer. Why? Why summer? Yes. It's hot. It is hot? Okay. Do you... Do you like the hot weather? Do you like do you yes. like hot days? No, yes. why? I like, I like sunny days. I sunny like, days. Uh, but like hot days, no, that's bad. But que solo el día, ya la noche tiene que ser fresco. I mean, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let me tell you something. Yeah. And here, <laughs> the heart of me and this country is uh, wear uniform. You know, with long, long sleeve. Um, yeah. Oh, that's kill me. Like this one, like long sleeve. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, that's hard for me. Okay. Um, long sleeve. Why? Yeah, because, Why is it hard? Because I never wear like that. You know. It, all the time was like polo, polo yeah. t-shirts and things like yes. that. Yes. Yeah, like that. Oh, okay, okay. Pero oh. ya me voy acostumbrando. <laughs> Especially in summer. I don't think it's like very comfortable, I would say. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, so let's let's come up a little bit with some ideas about activities you can do in winter. Acti well, winter, but from El Salvador, right? Summer from El Salvador, spring in autumn. For example, in winter, what do you like to do in winter? What activities do you do? The first one in winter. In El Salvador, there is no snow. So just like what month? Like March? March? No, no, no. March is summer. Well, I don't know. In El Salvador, the weather changes all the time. Carlos? May. May. Like May. But the thing is that the weather is super crazy. Because, for example, uh, this last uh, October was supposed to be windy. It was not. It was raining. So uh -huh. it's no. It's November. Uh -huh. it's In November, it's windy exactly, and uh, uh, it is not very very cold. So in November no. now, at least in my house, it's super hot. Right, like all day long, <laughs> it's hot. So I mean, th this is the point. So in winter, what do you like to do? I think Everest is on the way. Okay. So what activities do you do in winter? Let's say when it is rainy, what do you do? I don't. I don't like to do nothing. <laughs> okay. When it rains or when it is rainy, you don't like to do anything. Okay. What do you Just like? Work. What do you do? What do you like to do when it rains? Cuando uh, llueve, guys, when it is raining. Especially when it's time to work, I have to go outside and work. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. You don't like to go out. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? Carlos, what do you like to do? I think I'm missing either there. What do you like to do in, in the days that are kind of rainy? And yes, you be also in rainy days. Uh, sleep. <laughs> sleep. Okay. Yeah, I agree with you. Sleep. Have coffee, right? Or have chocolate. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, so have coffee, have chocolate. What else? Watch TV. In the case of us, it's like work también. I mean, no, pues sí, pero <laughs> we would like, I mean, yeah. When it is rainy, I need to work. <laughs> but the difference... Yeah, because, uh -huh. because all works is work outside. Exactly, yeah. exactly. I was going to mention that. But the difference is that I work in my house. Uh-huh. No, pero, pero en todo caso, yeah, I, I need to go to the office. I work inside. I work indoors. And in your case, you work outdoors. So that's the biggest difference. Okay. Yeah. Y creo que es más difícil para ustedes. I think it's harder for you. Definitely harder. All right. Um, especially for las noches que llueve más, right? So at night, it's more rainy. Yeah. So the weather gets crazy. Okay. What about summer? What activities do you do in summer, guys? Carlos said, for example, that he likes hot days. <laughs> okay, so what about I you? Like to go, I like to go to the beach. Yeah, I think it's a good time to go to the beach. All right. A anything else? Just go to the beach. Um, yeah. All right. Like resting That's a what... little... That's what I do when you wait for the summer in the USA, you know, go to the beach and take the sun. Oh, okay. Oh, because normally it's cold. So beaches there are kind of cold, yep. but here in El Salvador, I mean, it's pretty hot. Okay, but it works. All right. So spring and autumn, we say we don't really have them. So there is not much for those things. Okay. Give me just a second here. I'm going to show you part of the of the platform, right? Que hemos estado trabajando. So we can just listen to a little audio and we can practice pronunciation. One second. Do, 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 do. What's wrong with this? I think the rest of the guys are probably sleepy. What is everybody? Yeah. Uh huh. I, I don't know. I was I was trying to text them, but I, I think that they were kind of sleepy. Probably they finished working late. Let's check on them. <clears throat> Sorry, I got a little bit sick. about this next month is this more difficult is it easier um es December para ustedes? how is like december uh, i don't know it's my first time no sé. yeah i know carlos ever what about you guys my my december is it's very funny and amazing. Okay, funny, amazing. What about work? Is it more difficult? Is it more difficult? Yes, super. Why? Very For the horaries? Um, because of the schedules? No, no, no. It's, it's, what do you say? Incremental. It's incremental. There is more garbage? Uh huh. The, uh -huh. There is more garbage. Okay. Por las celebraciones, me imagino, because of the celebrations. Sí, o sea, por eso sí. A veces nos complica un poquito, pero ni mm -hmm. So, Carlos, ¿cuánto tienes estar trabajando there? How long have you been working there? Uh, three years so. Three years. Wow. Okay. 
Okay. I have a month. Same month. All right. So I eight. think I put in here to ever eight. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh no. So it's like a really, really short period of time there. Okay. 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 All right, guys. So look at this one. Here we have a little conversation, and it says it's very cold. So we are just going to practice a little bit of pronunciation, maybe some vocabulary, and we can get some ideas here. So obviously we don't have this in El Salvador, but let's listen to it and let's check what's going on here. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather seasons, and you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's... I'm in mute. So here we have like part of the of the most common seasons, right? So spring, summer. So in the spring it's warm and kind of sunny. Um, and summer, right? And we have also the air that it's raining, it's hot, and it's humid. Um, but we have fall, right? That is kind of cloudy, windy. Now, for example, uh, November. So it's a little cloud and windy, right? So, and it's a little cool. And then in Russia, so it's snowing and very cold. I mean, the characteristics of the country. Guys, where would you like to go? Where would you like to travel in the future? Do you have any idea? Would you like to go to Brazil or to Korea or, or Russia or USA? Any country you would like to visit because of the weather? Yes, I want to go to USA again. You want to go to USA again? Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Do to the same to the same state? Uh, no, I'm gonna try different. A different state. All right. But do, Flo do you? Florida. Florida. It's oh. nice weather there. Florida. People say that it's kind of I don't know, kind almost of like sunny, almost right? Almost like here. Yeah, almost like here. Uh -huh, like like a little bit more tropical. I heard about it. Um, so why not other country? Mm. You feel more comfortable, I guess, in USA. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 That's all right. Carlos, what about you? <laughs> Would you like to travel to another country, Carlos? And no, 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 you don't want to go. I mean, not necessarily to live in another country, but to go to another yeah. country, right? We want, no. we want to go to Guatemala. Guatemala is cold, I think. I mean, not, not that, no, I would say it's cool, not very cold, but it's quite cool. It's Colombia. You like to go to Colombia, okay. Where? Where in Colombia? Any specific city in Colombia? Um, Cartagena. Oh, okay, okay, cool. For for some crazy reason, I would like to go to Netherlands, you know, or Japan. <laughs> Don't oh, ask me see. why. So, uh, them. Answer them. Oh, okay. But that is cold, I think. That is a yes. cold country. Yes. So I am terrible with geography, but Amsterdam, is it located in Australia or is it in Germany? No, it's in Netherlands. Netherlands? I am yes. really bad with geography, so let me just ask you. 
sorry. Damn. Okay. It's in Europa. Yes, London. yes. Exactly. But what I don't remember. Ah oh, no, wait. Amsterdam is the is a capital. Yeah, the Holanda. No, it's in, no, but it's in UK. It says here. I'm sure that it's the capital. Oh wait, Amsterdam is the capital of the UK. So it's the Reino Unido. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's located in the Western Netherlands. Okay, in the it's in Holland. It says here. So it's in Holland. That's Holland. Oh, all right. Why Amsterdam? Because of the weather? Because of any specific place? Um, no, it's much for the, for the culture. I told you, so. Okay, because of culture. All right. No, but that is amazing. So, Carlos, if you want to do it, so almost for it, so you know, so you can give it definitely a try. So you can join it, but that is nice. So USA, uh, yeah. Amsterdam, all right. Uh, oh, so forever, ever is going. Hi, Lonel, good morning. Great to have you. Thank you so much for joining us well here. Yeah, I think I don't see Ever anymore. Oh yes, Ever is right there, but I think he was in the, in the last, all right. So let's just move on with the next conversation here. <clears throat> it's cloudy and windy. It's winter and rough. It's very cold. And we have this little conversation. Let's listen to it and then we can practice it in a little bit here. So it's called, uh, it's very cold. Which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no. What's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm, and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do. All right, so, Mr. Landaverde, can you please help me with Pat? Um, Carlos, can you read the part for Julie, please? You can change the name. It's not necessary to say thanks, Julie, at the end. <laughs> So you can modify this conversation a little bit, right? Oh, no. What's the matter? This is snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Will you wear in your coat? Yeah, but my coat is, is in warm. And I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's let's take a taxi. Okay, thanks, Carlos. That was really nice. <laughs> I like the way you pronounce it, guys. I like the 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 energy you put into it. So thank you, that, that sounds very nice. So we have this question, like what's the matter, right? What's wrong? What's the problem? What's the situation? Um, here it says that it was a snowing, so it was very cold. In El Salvador, what can be, uh, oh, and obviously they need gloves and they need a coat. Now in El Salvador with the weather, what can be a problem, guys? What was the problem here? Because it's not a snowing, it never snows. What is the problem? Yeah, we can change like a, we can change like a snowy by like sunny day, and you can change like low with uh, sunglasses, you know, something like that. Okay, okay. Yeah. I mean, I have a problem with my eyes because they are green. Oh, no. <laughs> I cannot see in sunny, uh, in sunny days. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, so yeah, that, that's definitely a problem. So probably hot days, any other thing with, with the weather? ¿Cuál es el problema más grande del clima? Or with what weather, summer or winter? Winter. Winter for you. 
because of what, what you mentioned before, que normalmente, you know, trabajan afuera, I guess. That you work out and uh, it's rainy sometimes, right? So, ¿les ha pasado algo así? Has, has it happened something like this to you? Yeah, that happened all the time. Okay. It's because when you go to work and mm -hmm. take your truck out, you take you guys with you, Mm -hmm. uh, like after two hours, it's raining, but everybody mm -hmm. say, oh, I didn't bring my raincoat, something, like that. <laughs> you know? Oh, so they have to work with no, like, nothing to put on? Yeah, yeah, all, all day we have to carry, like, uh, you know, rain gear and boots, yeah. Uh-huh, <gasps> okay, yeah. okay, and I guess at the end of your shift, so you're sock, you're wet. Yeah. yeah, wet all day. Okay, so you get wet, or you wait, wait, sorry, I misspelled that. So wet or soaked, right? So you get okay. soaked. So go soaked is like super mojado, uh -huh. right? Húmedo, ajá, uh -huh, like empapado, what we say in Spanish. Mm -hmm. So you get soaked, mm -hmm. you get wet, all right. Um, yeah. So w when was the last? time this happened to you or guys mm -hmm. what happened to you did you get sick or did you have like a problem with the weather Les pasó algo con el clima? carlos any story you want to tell us oh sí. como cuando viene una En la moto. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Exactly, you're right. So not necessarily at work, but also in the motorcycle. So what do you do? What do you do, Carlos? Cuando está lloviendo, when it's raining and you are in your motorcycle, ¿qué hace? What do you do? Um, solo una capa y seguir. Okay, you put an, a raincoat and you continue. Yes. Okay, so you don't stop. Uh, no, that, that frío. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, what? All right, so you get a, you get a, a raincoat <laughs> on and that would be it. Okay, because normally when it's rainy, tiene toda la razón. you're totally right. And you are in traffic, for example. So, uh, yo sé visto que muchos se quedan como debajo de algún eh, puente, de algún bridge, the or bridge. like in a little, uh -huh, or in a little store, or I mean, getting some cover, right, from the rain. Uh -huh, so, uh, yeah, that, that's uh -huh. that's right. So, alguna vez se mojado? Have you ever have you ever gotten wet? Uh, un montón de veces. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like all the time. Pero no anda, no anda nada con que cubriste. Uh -huh. You got nothing to cover, nothing to put on? Yes, uh, uh, como capa. Like a raincoat. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think. Okay. Yeah, I, I think that happened to me like some years ago. Um, and I was, I went to. I went to, to Cerro Verde, you know, with my friends. And the problem was that there was a festival. So nos quedamos like three kilometers away from the, the car, was three kilometers away del Cerro Verde. And we, when we went back, it was raining and nobody had an umbrella. So it was, oh. but it was like raining super heavily, like cats and dogs. So, uh, <laughs> What we did, guys, because we needed to go to the car, what we did was, um, compramos como bolsas plásticas, we bought some plastic uh, bags, right? Bag. Uh -huh. and, and we opened a hole just for the face and the arms, <laughs> and we started walking because we were three kilometers away. So we walked for three kilometers, and when we got to the car, estaba atascado. The car was stuck. Um, it was parked, yeah. pero ni siquiera podíamos salir. We couldn't go out of there. 
So we waited like two, three hours for the cars to move. It was crazy. <laughs> but but it, yeah, that was the solution. So a plastic bag. And uh, I, I think alguna vez les ha pasado. Has it happened to you? That yeah, you guys... my co-workers, my co-workers, you know, they, they have to pick up the garbage, you know? <laughs> But yes. when they forgot the the raincoat, rain uh -huh. they they find a, a trash bag. They open the holes too and put it on. Yeah, sir. I mean, anyways, <laughs> right? That's a practical yeah. solution. <laughs> Joselito, good morning. Great to see you. How are you doing, Joselito? <laughs> I missed seeing, I miss seeing Joselito in the car. <laughs> I, I think he changed today. Hi, Joselito, wait, you are in mute. Let me help you there. I see you talking, but I cannot, we cannot listen to you. There you go, there you go. Hi, Joselito, how are you? Joselito, can you hear me? Very good, very yes, good. Yes, okay. there you go. Nice. How are you? How is your Saturday? Good, yeah. fine. Is this? Is this? Is this? Is this? Is this? Is this? I fell asleep. That, no, that's okay. But welcome. Bienvenido. No worries. So I fell. No, that, that would be a slept over. So a sleep. Slept over. Yeah. Or oversleep. We can use oversleep, I think. So you were you overslept today. Como se quedó dormido. Se durmió hasta más tiempo, right? So you overslept. <laughs> All right. No, but it's okay, Joselito. No worries. You're good. So you're on time. Estamos revisando parte de los temas eh, from the platform and speaking a little bit. Um, lo veo bien relajado, Joselito, today. <laughs> so, ¿no va a trabajar ahora? ¿No working time today? Este, uh, We work every day. You work every Oh, seriously. ¿No day off? No, we have day off uh, three Sundays a month. That's it. Three Sundays a month. Okay. So you work on Saturday, okay. You work on Saturday, you have, oh, okay. And one, and one, one Sunday, Sunday you have to work. Oh, yeah. okay. Pero trabajando. Like tomorrow, I have to work tomorrow too. Oh, pero then va a descansar tres. You're gonna rest three Sundays. Yeah, descanso tres, yeah, mm -hmm. tres domingos. Right. Pero trabajan, guys, what, like siete, ocho horas al día? Mm, yes. Sundays, Sundays we work like eight hours, ten hours, oh. but every day we work like six. You know? Oh, okay. That's why. All right. That's why. Okay. I see. I see. I see. Yeah. So that, that's like part of the of the schedule, right? Anyways. Okay. Okay, guys. Let's move on right here. So. What we are going to do, guys, is the following. Coming back with the weather, right? Coming back with the season. For example, uh, part of the characteristics of winter, guys. Um, can you tell me un par de palabras relacionadas con winter? ¿Qué, qué pasa normalmente in, in winter? In the chat, for example, les acabo de escribir a couple of words, like you get wet, you get soft, uh, raincoat, right? Que es lo que necesitamos para cubrirnos. Rain, rainy, ¿qué más? What else, guys? Eh, durante el invierno, ¿qué otra característica tenemos de winter? It's cool. Okay, yeah, it's kind of cool, cold sometimes. Creo que nadie vive en la zona alta de El Salvador. Cloudy. Yeah, it gets cloudy, okay. Cloudy, what else? We're good with it. What about summer? ¿Cuáles son las características de summer, guys? Que es el mayor tiempo heating in our country. 
Summer. Summer. So, aparte que es sunny. Mm -hmm. Sunny, bright. Okay, bright. Bright. Um, sunny, bright. Heat. A little, uh -huh, so there is some heat. heat. All right, so it's kind of hot. All right. What else? Carlos, Joselito, Leo, ever, anything else? Mm. Nothing else. All right. We are going to meet in the spring. Uh, well, the spring in, in autumn because uh, I think we are not that familiar. No son las, las estaciones 100% visible here. So, normalmente so, es una combinación because of our weather, right? So, I think we're just good for it. So guys, what I want you to do is the following. I'm going to give you some seconds and uh, I want you to make like a short description, right? So my, of your favorite season. That would be my favorite season is, and I want you to explain, right? I want you to give like a little explanation why that is your favorite season. So if you say my favorite season is winter, so why you like it? My favorite season is summer, so what you like it, right? And uh, try to use also because my favorite season is autumn because I can see different colors in the trees and uh, it gets cold or it is cool. You can go to the park and it is not very hot or very cold and there we go. So my favorite season is, guys, let's wait a tres minutitos. I will give you like three minutes for that. Okay, si necesitan escribirlo, it's okay. Si no, solamente lo decimos y está super bien. And we are really good with it. So my favorite season is, you got three minutes hasta las 58. <clears throat> Thank you. 
I'm ready. Sure, perfect, perfect. Uh, guys, I don't know, are you ready? Joselito, are you ready? Leo, are we ready there? Carlos, do you need more time or are you ready as well? Excuse me. Yes. Uh, Necesitan más tiempo? Do you need more time or are you ready? Mm, with time. You need more time. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is, I'll give you like one more minute. That's okay. So this is, what is your favorite season, right? What's your favorite season y por qué and why? So just a little description that would be nice. So what is your favorite season? Joselito, necesita más tiempo? Do you need more time as well? Yes. Okay, no problem. I'll give you one, two minutes.
Joselito, necesito ayuda. Sí, bro. My, 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 yeah. my favorite season is winter. I know my winter. I know my wet. Yo no me mojo. Ah, you don't get wet. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So Joselito, your favorite season is winter. Uh -huh. El invierno. Uh -huh. And you say you don't get wet. Winter pa pasar el invierno. Ajá. Uh -huh. Oh, el invierno. Entonces aquí es. No sé si era summer. No, el winter because he he tried to ah, sí. get off. Uh -huh. Summer, uh -huh. verano. Ah, uh -huh. yes, yeah. Ese creo que he said I don't get wet. Ajá, uh -huh. eso podría ser. Ah, uh -huh. no. Summer, ajá, uh ajá. -huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Because in summer no? es que no llueve. Ajá, uh -huh. yo no me mojo. Ajá, uh -huh. so my Porque favorite invierno, season is summer. En el invierno sí lo mojamos. Yeah. Ah, no. Yo, yo pensé que estaba bien el, el, la lluvia a él que le gusta. Que se quería Porque mojar. Si no se no, no se baja del camino de ayudar, por eso. Que no, no pero, se moja. No, pero cuando sí ya se baja del carro es que se moja. <risa> okay. okay, so your favorite season uh, is summer, right, Joselito? Right, sí, ¿verdad? Okay, so your favorite season is summer because you didn't get wet, okay? Okay, yeah, that, that definitely makes like more sense. Okay, guys, what about the rest of you, Carlo? Yeah, my, uh, my favorite season is sunny because you, because you want to go to the beach mm -hmm. or, or go for a while with my family to the park. Yeah, so you go to you go to the park with your family, exactly, and you don't get wet. So that that sounds good. Okay, um, Walter, what about you? My favorite season is summer <laughs> because it's time to go to the beach and swim and get tiny. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, me in my case, sol, solearme. Me gusta solearme. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. So you like to get like a tan mm -hmm. or a sunbathe. So you like to sunbathe mm -hmm. or you like to get a tan. All right. Well, uh, in my case, I would go, I think, for winter because uh, I don't like summer because I sweat a lot. I sweat all the time. Um, maybe I sweat too much. So in the in winter, I don't sweat a lot, I think, and uh, it is bad because we get wet, but I prefer winter because I can be in my house, I can watch a movie sometimes, or I can have like coffee, chocolate, so I think I prefer winter. Summer is good for the beach, but I sweat, I sweat a lot, and I don't like it, I think. All right, so uh, ever. Leo is just listening, she said. Okay, he said, what about Ever? Are you there? Probably not. Okay, maybe he's not there. Okay, let me show you the next slide in the case and let's move on. So we, when we are talking about the weather, for example, vamos a usar algunas palabras like a forecast, right? Como for example, guys, what is the forecast for this week? 
alguna idea si va a llover o va a estar como con vientos? Do you have any idea? ¿Han visto, ¿Han visto a Moisés Urbina? <laughs> In the last days. Not really. Revisan el pronóstico. Do you check the weather forecast? Uh, vientos. Yes. Soleado. Rápido. De vientos. Soleado y con vientos. Ok. So windy and a little bit sunny. Ok. What about Fine. this one? Fine. All right. Guys, uh, how do you call? ¿Cómo le llamamos a este? How do you call this one? La segunda picture, this one right here. How do you call it? That's a rainbow. All right, so we got a rainbow right there, right? ¿Cuándo es más común ver rainbows? When is it more common? Uh, after rain. Recién, after the rain? Recién ha pasado la, la lluvia. Yeah, right. Like in winter, it, it's more common, like a, after a very strong rain. Okay. We have, like, for example, sunshine, right? Um, so sunshine. when, like, yeah, sun is like super shiny. Uh, we got like the heat or when the weather is very hot and we have clear, mild or bright. Uh, that is very common in summer days. We also have a breeze, right? Ahorita podemos experimentar eso, so there is a little breeze. And also it's windy, so it's really windy or just a little breeze. Ahorita, guys, uh, ¿cómo está por ahí sus casas? Like windy, super windy, or just a breeze? Just a windy. little breeze or wind. Okay, so it's windy. Here también is very windy. Super, super windy. Okay, then we have the other ones. For example, heavy, and we have light, right? So we have here like a rain, so, or a shower, right? Cuando realmente llueve. Or we can call it drizzle. So, drizzle es solamente como las, las gotitas de agua, right? Cuando está eh, lloviznando. In El Salvador, we call it sirniendo, right? So, that would be drizzle or light rain. So, bien suave. Like a very, very light rain. Or we can say rainy shower. And uh, cuando está lloviendo muy fuerte, so there is an expression that we use in English that is, it is raining cats and dogs. So it is, so it is raining cats and dogs. No necesariamente porque van a escuchar, escuchar el gato o el perro, right? So now it's raining cats and dogs. That is like, está lloviendo muy fuerte. So whenever you listen to this expression, that's like, llueve muy, muy fuerte. So it's raining cats and dogs, right? Okay. Questions, guys? ¿Alguna pregunta con eso? ¿O estamos bien? Are we good here? It's a fantasy. I'm okay. Okay. Okay, good. Then let's go on and let's check the following thing is. Take a look at these words, las que tenemos acá, and tell me, letter A, ¿qué está haciendo la persona acá? What is the person doing in the picture number one? Take. Book up. Uh, book up. Uh -huh. so, okay, she's waking up. What about this one? What is the girl doing? Brush uh, suit. Brush uh -huh. teeth. Exactly, teeth. she is brushing her teeth. All right. And this one, what is going on? Food. ¿Qué están haciendo? What are they doing? Dinner. They take dinner. Okay. Yeah, they are taking oh. dinner. What about this one? It's 8 a.m. What do you think the person is doing at 8 a.m.? Mm. Está triste para ir a trabajar. <laughs> He's crying, probably. <laughs> Okay, yeah, he's leaving the house, definitely. He's leaving the house. Uh, and the boy, what's the boy doing here? Uh, 
Uh, ¿En el Me olvidó. Oh, no. <laughs> so, ¿Qué está pasando acá? What is going on here? Yo le uh, podría decir. Tell me, tell me lo que. Boy, they change shirts, but it's no change because he's on it. No sé cómo se dice abotonar los botones. Um, well, actually, you're not very far away from it. So that, that would be nice. So he is changing his shirt. That would be nice. Um, he is dressing up, right? Como se está vistiendo, se está cambiando. So he's dressing up, right? Or Como he get, is... Get, you dress up. Exactly. Como get dressed. Yeah. So he's dressing up. Se está cambiando, se está vistiendo. So that would be nice. Um, se está abotonando. ¿Cómo uh -huh. se podría decir? So he's tidying up the bottoms. So he's tidying. Bottoms. Tidying up. Uh -huh. He's tidying up the bottoms. That can also work. Uh -huh. That will work here. What about the man? What's the man doing here? No. No remember. He's shaving. Yeah, exactly. So he's shaving. Yeah. Uh, what about the girl? What's she doing there? Uh, he trying. She trying to look pretty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, she's trying to look pretty. Joselito, what else? <laughs> what else? Come on, Joselito. Oh, what else? Is... <sighs> Con cuál? Con cuál vocabulario? The, the woman, the girl, right here. This girl. Like, what's she doing? Cualquier. Use, use the word she makeup. Speak, she speak cell phone? No. Oh. Creo she que está muy pequeñita. I think the picture is very, very small. Okay. Oh. Uh, actually, oh. de hecho, se está maquillando. Ajá. Ella está hablando... Por celular. No, ah, está no, José ve la de a la de abajo. Ajá. Yeah, she oh. is talking on the phone. Yeah. She is like talking on the phone or chatting, talking to somebody. Y la que está arriba, and the one that is upper. My wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So oh, my, yes. what, so what is she doing? Yes. So, ¿qué está haciendo? What is she doing? Cuando mi esposa se maquilla. <laughs> uh, okay, so that looks like your wife. Okay. Um, so, maquillarse, guys, is put on makeup. So, makeup. Uh -huh, she is putting on makeup. Yeah, she's putting on some makeup. Okay. So Joselito says that it, she looks like his wife, right? So that's all right. Yes. She is. No, no logré. Oh, uh, no sé si logra ver como mi chat. So she is. Se lo voy a escribir a la par. Give me one second. I'm going to write it there. So here's like. She is putting on makeup. There you go. So she's putting on some makeup, right? Um, the, and the next one, guys, the one that says 6 p.m. So this one at 8 a.m., the man was super sad, crying and everything. What about 6 p.m.? happy because he casa. Okay, so how do you say llegar a casa? So he's... He's back home. He's back home, he's arriving home. All right, yeah. So he's going back to his house. What about this back. one? Mm -hmm. Back, yes. What take, about this one? Take a shower. Yeah, the man is taking he a is shower. Taking exactly, he's taking a shower. This one, guys. Right. Mm -hmm. Como lo está haciendo ahorita, he is. Le vamos a agregar ING. He is. Writing. Yeah, he's writing. writing, exactly. He's writing right. right now. And Joselito nos hablaba de ella, like she is talking on the phone, which is really, really good. Okay. Talking on the phone. Yes. Okay. So, guys, look at this. Okay, look at this picture. All right. 
And the, here we have like some general ideas, okay, de lo que está pasando, about the different things that are going on. <coughs> Les voy a dar dos pictures. I'm going to give you two pictures. And I want you to tell us qué está pasando y por qué, right? Con una pequeña historia de what's going on in each of the pictures. So, Walter, yours van a ser las primeras dos, the cup and the violin. Joselito, eh, this picture of the flip-flops coconut y esto de acá. This little picture that looks like a snow. Carlos, eh, this one. The man in the restaurant, que está como molesto, right? So, ¿qué está haciendo? What's he doing there? Y, and then this picture que está lloviendo, that is kind of raining here. Creo que los otros compañeros no tienen audio activado. So, yeah, let, let's go that way. So, Walter, these ones, eh, Joselito, estas dos, these two, and Carlos, estas dos de acá, right? So, ¿qué está pasando y por qué está pasando? Um... Guys, les voy a dar cinco minutos. I will give you five minutes. Si necesitan escribirlo, no hay problema, no problem. So you're good to go. Si necesitan ayuda, eh, tell us, please, para poder, you know, organizar um, las ideas. Uh, yo, yo, yo. Bien, Carlos. Yo no entiendo. Vamos como um, a imaginarnos. Vamos a adivinar, digamos. So, vamos a adivinar qué es lo que está pasando. For example, here with the man. Uh, no sé si logra ver la picture very well. Pero el hombre está como devolviendo la comida. He is giving back the food. So, the question is, ajá, como qué está pasando y por qué. ¿Cómo? Bueno, le salió una mosca. Ajá, vaya, eso. So, the man is angry, the man is returning the food, the man is not happy with the food because there is a cockroach or, or because there is a fly uh -huh, or because there is like a hair in his food. Uh -huh. So, I mean, eso es como adivinar qué está pasando e intentar mm -hmm. contarlo. Mm -hmm. So, here, for example, in this picture, So you have these sun, the, the flip-flops, you have the sunglasses, you got the coconut. So ¿qué está pasando? what is going on? So Joselito can say, uh, I am going to the beach with my family. I am going to El Mahawal and I'm taking a coconut, sunglasses and flip-flops, you know, because I, wanna, I want to spend the day with my family. So la idea es inventarse algo con esas fotos, right? So, oh. ¿qué está pasando? What's going on? Cinco minutitos, guys. I'll give you five. Uh, voy a apagar el, el micrófono, pero estoy acá. Si necesitan ayuda. So, I'm here. ¿Con qué? ¿Con qué? Eh, hey, Walter. ¿Pastelito? Walter. ¿Qué ¿Qué vale? con, ¿Con qué vamos a trabajar con la...? Usted va a ocupar la del, donde está el coco y el, la nieve. Hola, Federica. Le re y son. Hola, Federica. Uh -huh. El sommer y el winter va a ocupar usted. Uh -huh. ¿Y la Excelsa? No, la Excelsa ahí está. Ahí la tienen a la para la Excelsa. ¿Cómo? La corrió. Está mal, tiene curso. Ay, Dios. Les voy a apagar el micrófono un momento. Eh,
Two more minutes, guys. Finish.
All right, guys, are you ready? Do you need more time or are we good? Can we get us? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me connect here or something. Okay. Do you need more time or are we okay? Can we start? Can we get us started? I'm ready. Okay. Ready. So you're ready. Joselito, Carlos, yes. Okay, very nice. So tell us, guys. Uh, da, 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 da. Give me just a second. Let me just share this again. Okay. Okay. So Walter, let's start with you. Like the cop and the and the girl playing the violin. So what is going on here? Uh, I can give you a like. Uh, Una oración con la, con la taza. I woke up in the morning and get a cup, coffee cup, something like that. Yeah, yes, 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 that's okay. And the next picture, well, I like to go to the theater to watch, uh, like, uh, um, uh, No sé, a un grupo, like a... In a band? A band. A, yeah, un, a ver a un grupo, like, tocar bail, bailan. Ah, violín. okay, like, no. an, like an orchestra, yeah, like violin. Like an orchestra. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. I think I think it's cool. All right. All right. Joselito with the beach. What do you have for the beach? Wait, wait, Joselito, eh, está en silencio. You're on mute. Ahí está. There you go. Aselito, what do you have for the beach? I know, understand. no entiendo, no, no he entendido. Ya, yeah, solamente invéntese algo, right? Como que está haciendo en la playa. What are you doing at the beach? <coughs> Sorry. Or here with the, with the snow, like, ¿qué está pasando? What do people do? ¿Qué es lo que la gente normalmente hace eh, durante la playa? No worries, ya le ayudamos. Uh, Carlos, let me go with, with, with you. So what do you yes. have? Uh, first picture. He yes. is inside and he is returning the food because he has an insect and I ask him to change it. And okay. second picture. Yes. He did not find transportation to return yes. home. So he had to walk in the rain. On the rain, yeah. Wow, okay, I wow, like it. <clears throat> I didn't think about it before, but I like it. I think it's really nice. Exactly, so he didn't find transportation, so he had to uh, walk, all right. Nice, perfect. Guys, ayudémosle a Joselito. Let's help Joselito. Joselito. Ajá, con lo de la beach. ¿Qué puede estar haciendo la persona uh, at the beach? Joselito, puede decir, uh, como veo una sandalia, puede decir, me gusta el summer porque me pongo mi sandalia, mis lentes y me tomo un coco. ¿Va? Yeah, that works. Dígalo en inglés. Dígalo en inglés. My good. ¿El coco en inglés? Coconut. Coconut. My, my life, me gusta tomar. I like to drink. I like oh, to I drink. love drinking. Uh -huh, that's okay. Both are good. I like to drink. I like drinking. My like drinking. Mm -hmm. Coconut. Okay. 
my uh, my like sandalia yes. okay flip flops perdón they are called they are called flip flops they wouldn't be sandals they are flip flops you write it yeah i i am sharing that in the chat let me just share it here as well so they are flip flops flip -flop. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My like the free flop blue. Me gustan las sandalias azules. Yes, I like the blue flip flops. Okay, very nice. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. We used the wall. The sunglasses. So sunglasses. Excuse me. Some sunglasses. Oh. <laughs> you like the sunglasses? Like like the sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Eh, ok, ok, ok. Para, para sol, para sol, but, but, sol. Sol en inglés. Eh, sun. 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 Yes. Like the sun, glossed, but sun. Ok, yeah, that would be the sun. All right. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much for it. Very nice, guys. Um, let's just move on a little bit here. But yeah, that, that was <clears throat> quite good. Let's take a look at the following part. So ahora sí, ya tenemos un poquito más de speaking. <clears throat> and it says here, like, speaking practice. Tenemos un par de preguntas donde vamos a utilizar present continuous. So what are you doing this year to improve yourself? What do you think your best friend is doing right now? Are you reading in any interesting books these days? And what TV shows are you watching now? Antes de, de revisar esta parte, revisamos un poquito la gramática, right? Con present continuous. Uh, present continuous, guys, es el tema de la unidad número tres. Perdón, la unidad número cuatro. And lo utilizamos para hablar sobre ahorita, right? ¿Qué es lo que estamos haciendo Ahorita, estos días, ¿qué es lo que estamos haciendo? And, uh, también puede ser para futuro, like in the future, what activities are you doing? Y voy a utilizar el verbo be y voy a utilizar también el ing para hablar un poquito de esas actividades. So, just a little bit here. Just a moment. I'm going to show you like the exercise here. No se mira la pantalla. Oh, okay. Ahorita se la comparto. Wait. Le sé que le seguía, le seguía compartiendo. Give me just a second. De niño no tiene And uh, there we go. Can you see my screen now? Uh, no. Yes. Yo la veo. Yo también. 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 Yo Wait, can I just a second? Give me just a moment. I'm going to share my screen in a second. 
no, no. I think no. I'm having some issues here. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? La voz de quien escuché. Oh, Ernesto, hi. <laughs> I, I was ya thinking. Vine. Uh -huh. Morning, how how you doing? Entiendo. ¿Cómo está? How are you doing? Ah, gracias a Dios, bien. O Solo sea, que me tocó salir hoy temprano. Hacer un mandado. Me acabo oh. de venir. No hay problema, no se preocupe. Gracias por acompañarnos okay. here, sir. You are super, super on time. Okay. So, estamos okay. re revisando un poquito el tema de la unidad número cuatro, right? Que acaban de terminar, que es la del present continuous para hablar de cosas que están pasando. Solamente les voy a compartir here un par de ejercicios. Pero quiero que revisamos eh, antes este tema. I want you to, creo que ahora sí la ven, ¿verdad? Ok. Ven mi pantalla. Sí, ya. Yeah. No, maybe. Sí, ya. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Super, super bien. Ok. So, guys, eh, revisamos un poquito lo del present continuous que iniciamos la semana pasada. Eh, so, we can work okay. a little bit. Um, ve veíamos, por ejemplo, las week que a veces tenemos, por ejemplo, en the, la parte de am, um, tenemos is, tenemos are, y voy a describir qué es lo que están haciendo. Por ejemplo, I see, or I can say, like, Joselito. Pero no puedo decir am. Um, tengo que encontrar cuál es la forma correcta del verbo to be que puede ir con Joselito. So, acá, ¿cuál sería, guys? Joselito, am um, y sorar. ¿Cuál de las, las tres sería más adecuada? Joselito am, um, Joselito is, o Joselito are? Oh. Okay. Is. Okay, so Joselito is. That's okay. Joselito is. Uh, y luego puedo decir qué es lo que él está haciendo. So, tengo algunos verbos, por ejemplo. And lo que voy a hacer es cambiar, transformar un poquito este verbo, agregándole ing. Por ejemplo, I have listened. Y le voy a agregar listening. guys. Listening, exactly. I have speak. ¿Qué le agrego? Speaking. Yes, speaking. Si tengo read. ING. ING, perfect. So, work. King. Working. Uh -huh. Work. Sit. De sentarse. Sit. Sitting. 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 Exactly. Very nice. Practice. Right. Same uh, thing. Solo le voy a quitar la E. Uh -huh. And ING. Oh. All right. Make. Making. Le quito like la E. Ending. And ING. Uh -huh. So making. So we got listening, mm -hmm. speaking, reading. Guys, repitamos. Listening. Listening. Speaking. Listening. Speaking, reading, 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 working, working, sitting, 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 practicing, practicing, making, making. making. All right. Making. So for for example, right now, quiero decir que Joselito está escuchando. Joselito ¿Hm? is. Cometele, ¿qué? Is Exacto, voy a agarrar el verbo de acá. So, Joselito is listening to us, right? Joselito is listening to his family. Y describo como que es lo que están haciendo. Um, I got, for example, I. Guys, ¿qué están haciendo aparte de escuchar? What are you doing right now? So, I am. Well, in my case, estoy sentada. So, I am sitting down. Estoy sentada. I am sitting down. What, what, what do you say? Recostado. Recostado. Okay. So I, I am. Voy a cambiar la palabra here for lying. I am oh. lying on. ¿En qué, en qué está recostado? Sobre la cama, en el sofá, en la pared. On bed. Bed. Sería. Ah, okay. So I am lying on the bed. Uh -huh. So I am lying. Estoy recostado o recostada. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más están haciendo, guys? What are you doing? I am. Um, drink coffee. Ah, ok. Tengo drink. ¿Qué le agrego? I am? Drinking. Drinking yes. coffee. Yes. I'm drinking coffee. Exactly. Are you drinking coffee right now? ¿Están tomando café? Are you drinking coffee? Yes. 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 Todos. <laughs> Todavía no. Having... Ya casi me toca tomar café. No yet. Are you having breakfast? 
están desayunando. Are, oh, Joselito is drinking coffee. Okay. So are you Todavía eating? No. Not yet. Are you eating breakfast? Están desayunando no. o ya desayunaron? Are you eating breakfast? No, no yet. Yes. No yet. Yes, Joselito está desayunando. Okay. So th that is actually the point. Carlos, yes. Tengo una duda. Diga. Say el, con el ING. Uh -huh. O sea, ¿cuándo se, cuándo sí y cuándo no se puede utilizar? ¿Cuándo sí y cuándo no? Ok. Cuando no termina en vocal. Eh, no. de, well, en general, el ING lo utilizo, eh, primero, el uso es, lo voy a utilizar para, ya sea para el futuro, o yo sé, ya sea para ahorita, lo que yo estoy haciendo como ahora, este mes, esta semana, pero que normalmente yo no hago, ¿ok? So, o sea, tiene... porque, porque yes. tengo uno, porque a veces con el, con el going to, con el futuro simple, no se ocupa. Ah, no, lo que sucede es que el verbo, por ejemplo, acá, es listen. El verbo es solamente listen. Lo que nosotros hicimos para describir lo que ahorita está pasando es agregarle el ing. Pero yo cuando le agrego el ing ya cambié el verbo. So, normalmente uh -huh. para futuro usted va a utilizar el listen si el, sin el ing. No That's necesita it. ing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Cuando dice por ejemplo futuro, I am going to, I am going to listen to my mom. I am going to listen to music. O speaking, uh -huh. le tengo que quitar el ING. El este, este cambio, yeah. lo va a utilizar solo para describir ahorita, lo que estás haciendo yeah. ahorita. Yeah. Sí. Uh, ¿Tiene? Y una no, 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 no. duda, porque a veces con el, con este del, del donde ya se ocupa el verbo to be, más el I am going to, más, eh, o sea, uh -huh. no, no Son sé, diferentes. No, no, no yo creo diferente. que, yo creo que me está confundiendo el present continuous con la parte de be going to, cuando usted dice I am y luego dice going to, creo que es este, ¿verdad? Sí, que solo, solo es el going to, nada más. Vale, lo que sucede es que going to es diferente a be going to. Le, le voy a, eh, hagamos acá, no, no, no sé si los voy a confundir, ustedes me dicen. Por ejemplo, eh, tenemos este verbo, right, que es el verbo go, el verbo de ir. Y yo digo, yo ahorita voy a trabajar, right? Pero esto sería en el futuro. Pero si dice go, puede ser también como de yo voy a la playa, yo voy al supermercado, yo voy al trabajo, ¿ya? So, Joselito, digamos que la ahorita ya se va al trabajo. Joselito is going to work to his office, all right? Or to the company, to the company. So, acá, después de going to, no estoy escribiendo ningún otro verbo. Joselito is going to the company. So, ahorita él ya se va para el trabajo. En cambio, acá con el be going to, usted necesita otro verbo. Por ejemplo, hagamos el mismo ejemplo, pero con be going to. Joselito is going to go. Él va a ir al trabajo. He is going to go to the company, pero quizás mañana, probably tomorrow. Entonces, es, es un poquito similar, pero al mismo tiempo eh, se cambian. Eh, ya no es el mismo present continuo, sino que este be going to es para futuro. Lo vamos a ver más adelante, así que no se preocupen. Eh, no, no nos vamos a meter en be going to para no confundirlo, you know? porque se puede confundir. Creo que, creo que Walter tenía una pregunta aquí. Y en el futuro los verbos no se le agregan will. Ah, es otra forma de hacerlo. El be going to, que Carlos nos menciona, o will, ambos se utilizan para futuro. Pero, uh, por ejemplo, si les pregunto, hey guys, ¿qué van a hacer mañana? What are you going to do tomorrow? Puedo utilizar, I, I am going to, or I will. I will rest, I am going to I rest. rest. Ajá. I will work, I am going to work. I will get up early. I am going to get up early. Entonces hay dos formas para futuros, pero también lo puedo hacer con Big Going. El, el going to un poquito más formal, perdón. Eh, digamos que es más seguro. Entre will y be going to, going to es como es un plan, ya estoy casi seguro. En will uh -huh. es como quizás, no sé, todavía. Ajá. Pero, <risa> es como pero duda. Sí. Ajá, exacto, exacto. Pero ambos se utilizan. Both are fine. 
So here, guys, con el going to, es solamente este going to, um, or le cambiamos acá y utilizo listening. Normalmente es porque yo lo estoy haciendo como en este momento, right? So, digamos que, no sé, me estoy moviendo. So, I am moving my arms. Estoy moviendo mis brazos. I'm moving my arms. Eh, Joselito estaba inclinándose la taza del café. So, uy, perdón, se me faltó la M here. So, Joselito is drinking coffee. coffee. Puedo incluso decir ahorita. Joselito is drinking coffee right now. right now. Ahorita mismo. Exactly. Pero también lo puedo utilizar como para algo que no es una rutina, pero que está pasando este año, este mes o esta semana, right? Por ejemplo, con COVID sabemos que todo cambió. En el pasado nadie andaba mascarilla, por ejemplo. In the past, eh, ¿qué más, guys? Todos trabajábamos afuera, nadie trabajaba en la casa. So son cosas que han cambiado, pero no, no necesariamente es una rutina todavía. ¿Qué, qué más ha cambiado por you? Oh, ya, sé. ya no se pueden ir a fiestas tan de... Ah, Como a las disco. Ajá. No sé por qué, a pero Ernesto parece que iba a disco. <risa> ok. So, puedo decir, por ejemplo... Cosas como esta, ¿verdad? Sí, porque no los perritos van a hacer su ¿verdad? Sí. ¿Qué fue eso? ¿Qué fue eso? Puedo decir, por ejemplo, me quedo en la casa y ya no salgo, ¿verdad? Right? So, este, quedarme en la casa puede ser como stay. I am. Pero no puedo decir solo I am stay. Esto no se puede. Stay at home. ¿Qué le voy a agregar al segundo? Es como se podría agregar un at home. Ok, at home. Ok, pero no puedo solamente utilizar stay. Esta combinación am y otro verbo no se puede. ¿Qué le voy a agregar al segundo verbo? Necesito hacer un cambio acá. I am live. No. Uh, ok, vaya. Ok, I am live. El detalle es que estas combinaciones, verbo, verbo, no puedo hacerlas. Entonces, ¿qué hago para el siguiente, guys? Le voy a agregar go, going, stay, staying, live, living. Le voy a agregar el ing para decir ahorita o estos días o este año. So, I am stay, le voy a agregar el ing. El ing, I am staying at home. Me estoy quedando en mi casa, right? O permanezco en mi casa. I, o sea, I am live. El, eh... El ING como que hace un cambio de demasiado radical en la oración, ¿verdad? O sea, sin necesidad de otra cosa. Sí, el ING solamente, cuando usted ve eso, I am staying at home, ah, ahorita, okay, estos días. Yo creo que el, el AM y el STAY son verbos, ¿verdad? Sí. Y ING af, af, afirma, ¿va? No, no afirma, cambio. sino que cambia lo que Baby. yo quiero decir. All right. ¿Todo café? Por, por ejemplo, uy, ya están preguntando el café. <risa> ok. Ok, por ejemplo, veamos esto. Que leyó, veamos esto, ¿Sí? guys. Uh, si yo quiero decir, I am. Este otro palito que está aquí, ¿de qué? I am living San Salvador. No puedo, no puedo decir, I am living San Salvador, right? Eso no se puede. ¿Qué le tengo que quitar o qué le tengo que poner, guys? I living. I am. Oh, hay dos posibilidades. So, una. No se puede quitar el line. Exacto, exactly, exactly. So, eh, como usted mencionó, no se puede tener dos verbos juntos. Tengo que cambiar o agregarle algo. Entonces, I am living San Salvador, no se puede. Posibilidad uno, I live in San Salvador. Posibilidad dos, cambio el segundo. I am living in San Salvador. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? I live in San Salvador, pues yo vivo ahí, siempre lo he hecho, ya tengo años de estar en San Salvador. I am living in San Salvador, no, he, no tengo años, sino que por un tiempo corto yo me estoy quedando en San Salvador, por ahorita yo me estoy quedando. No sé si ven la diferencia, guys. O sea, la diferencia? Como, que, como el I am living es como... No, no, no hay mucho tiempo, es un poco un tiempo corto, como usted dice. Yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. El, el, el I living es como, el I live, 
es como ya, bueno, yo, desde que nací ahí. Eh, ajá, como ya es, eh, ya me asenté, ya me quedé aquí, exactly. Y el I am living es como por un tiempo bien corto, uh, te, algo temporal, all right? Actividades que son temporales. Por ejemplo, digamos que usted dice, ok, yo trabajo para teclaseo, right? Pero usted dice, yo no me voy a quedar todo el tiempo trabajando aquí por teclaseo, sino que esto es algo temporal. Ya me voy a cambiar en un año, me voy a cambiar en seis meses, me voy a cambiar, voy a encontrar otro trabajo. Entonces, esa es la diferencia. Primero, I am work, esto nunca se puede hacer. Entonces, yo le voy Ahí a quitar sí, el I. I am working. Ajá, le voy a quitar y puedo decir, I work for teclaseo. O si usted considera que es algo temporal, ajá, I am working. Por tecla SEO, tecla SEO ahorita, right now. right now, pero en el futuro me voy a cambiar, but not, not for long, ok? Incluso le puedo decir, pero no por mucho tiempo, but not for long, but not for long. Uh -huh. So, esa es la diferencia. Uno es más rutina, algo que ya pues va a pasar, you know, algo que ya me acostumbré. Y la otra es algo temporal. Uh -huh. Bien. Okay, bien, guys. Are we good? Hi, Rolando. I'm sorry, Ronaldo. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Morning. How are you? How is your Saturday? ¿Todo bien? Everything good? It's so hot in here. So it's windy, but it is hot. I don't know why. All right, so guys, so let's do something here. Díganme parte de las cosas. Oh, vamos a, oh sorry, ya son las 10. So, vamos a hacer lo siguiente, guys. Eh, vámonos ahorita al break. Vayan a desayunar, go for your coffee, right? Get it, guys. Y nos vemos en 15. Nos vemos a las 15, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Que disfruten okay. su desayuno. Enjoy your breakfast. Enjoy your coffee, guys. 